What's up YouTube? Um, as you can tell from the title of this video, me and my friend just finished building our first robot. So we decided we're gonna shoot a video of what it looks like and what it does and stick it up on YouTube. Um, we were actually following the tutorial for the $50 robot on societyrobots.com and it turned out pretty cool, so check it out. Here you got the main circuit board of our robot. And um, all the parts are the same as what he used online. The only difference is these white things here are rely main connectors, which we use instead of these black things. And um, the last sturdier and just really useful. So, yeah. And this is the robot, the main body of the robot right here. It has three wheels. The front one's just an old one we just pulled off the suitcase. And uh, the back two are powered by the servo motors. See the servo right here. And uh, these big black things are power source. Also, I want to show you guys the um, soldering and the wiring on the back of the chip. Um, my friend took care of most of this, and uh, this is the first time either of us has soldered, and considering that, he did a really good job. I mean, it looks pretty professional, tight connections, and yeah, so good job there. So I'm just going to stick this on to my robot, and uh, screw it in. Um, for those of, you, those of you who aren't aware of the tutorial I'm talking about, this is a photovore, so this robot is just meant to sense out light. In a dark room, it's just going to find the only source of light or the brightest spot. And in a bright room, it just heads towards the spot with the most light. And uh, so it's pretty simple. It does that using these two sensors up here, which I'm going to talk about more later. So yeah, just put these in. Then start plugging in all our components. Also, another thing that he forgets to mention in the tutorial is that if you use a USB connector to program your chip, which is what you're going to have to do because almost nobody has um, non-USB inputs on their computers these days. If you do use a USB connector, you won't be able to use Ponyprog, which is the software he tells you to use. And um, that can cause a lot of problems. You'll have to use AVR Dude, which is just raw software. There's no user interface to it and stuff. So you have to program it from the command line. And it just might cause a lot of problems. So I just suggest making sure you know how to use AVR Dude before you go out and build your robot because you don't want to be stuck on the last stage, which is the programming. So I just pl plug everything in here. And the sensors thing I was going to tell you guys is that me and my friend just kind of had a little argument about how to place sensors. My friend preferred to put them one at a right angle to our battery like that, and the other one just straight out like this. But I prefer it, you know, corner. One here, one here. It doesn't really matter. Both work pretty well. Depends what you prefer. Try both out and um, just see what works best for you. I'm going to use this arrangement for the demonstration today. So let me just take it outside where I can show you guys it's light sensing. And um, So out here, as you can see, the brightest spot is over there by the fire extinguisher. So it should go and seek out that spot. So let me just turn it on to find the battery. As soon as I plug this in, it's going to start wanting to go. So watch out. As you can see, it immediately starts heading towards the light. The reason why it's stuttering back and forth like that is that we're having some problems with the servos, one's moving faster than the other. I don't know why that's happening. Um, the program's just a mirror image of itself, so I don't know why that would happen, but hopefully get that sorted out later. As you can see, it went and found the brightest spot, which is right around the fire extinguisher. And um, if you take a bright source of light, like a torch, you can easily redirect it wherever you want it to go. You can steer it this way, and I'll just steer any way you want. So it's obviously sensing light and it works pretty well. 